everyone. I'm Rebecca Jones. I'm the candidate running against Matt Gates in Florida's first congressional district, and I have some pretty disturbing news about something that he just posted. I took my son with me today, my 12-year-old autistic son, to help me man a booth at the Health Expo, which was in Fort Walton Beach. And Matt Gates apparently had someone take pictures of my 12-year-old autistic son while he was at the booth by himself and posted it, mocking him on Facebook. But if you haven't learned anything from when DeSantis raided my house at gunpoint, you don't with my kids. And you can stop creeping on my children and having pictures taken of them and then reposting them online when they're sitting alone in public at events that aren't even mine. It's creepy and it's disgusting. And someone accused of doing the things that you're accused of doing with girls and boys about his age should really stay away from that one. So... If Matt Gates is too much of a coward to debate me, which he probably is, let's make sure we show him how we treat pedophiles. So uh, this, there's many levels here uh, with this story. That's Rebecca Jones. She's running to unseat Matt Gates there in his congressional seat down there in Florida. But this whole thing blew up when they were talking about pictures and sons and uh, 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 un, I guess unallowable pictures being taken. From folks, let's go to that picture because Matt Gates, one of his folks, showed up at this event that her son was at and decided to have a, uh, what he thought was fun with these two images. And he says, "Gates versus Jones campaign events." On the left is Gates with uh, a bunch of folks with red signs, and there's uh, Rebecca Jones' his son sleeping at a table at an event that actually wasn't hers, as she did point out there. This is what response. This is what uh, sparked her response. And also, she did talk about him. Maybe he shouldn't be taking pictures of children and posting them because of this history and this potential consequence that he's also facing. I'm sure you guys have heard, but I'll read it anyway. The Justice Department is investigating Matt Gates over allegations that he had a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old girl and paid her to travel with him, including over state lines. I'm not gonna let you guys forget this. Gates has not been charged with any crime so far and denies all the accusations that are against him. Uh, but also, Rebecca Jones also pointed out her back and forth and the things that happened with Ron DeSantis. She's catching a lot of different attention from these elected powerful officials, let's keep it real. Jones was fired from her role as data scientist in Florida over claims that she refused to manipulate COVID data to make the state's outbreak seem less severe. She later had her home searched amid allegations that she improperly accessed a department computer system. This is everyone coming after her for this. At one point, her house was also raided by Florida police serving a search warrant. In face of her public campaign, DeSantis and his supporters have painted Jones as a disgruntled employee who didn't have access to the kind of data she claimed, showing malfeasance by his administration. So she caught it from uh, she caught it from DeSantis. She's, I guess, Matt Gates is attempting to uh, send some negative attention her way now. But I don't know if he really wants this. I feel like every time people like Matt Gates open their mouth or open their Twitter account and try and get this win they end up kind of owning themselves. What are your thoughts on this, Senator? He don't want this smoke. I mean, yeah. Rebecca Jones said that <laughs> mic drop, baby. She, she said, hey, don't F with my kids. As a mama myself, I'm feeling that way. And my son is grown, baby. Don't mess with a mama's <laughs> kids because it don't matter. They'll never get grown, more grown than their parents. But, you know, it is wrong to do that. And I don't think in politics that people should bring other folks' kids into the discussion, especially minor children, especially minor children. So it's just sick. And he is a coward for, for, for doing this, really, just a straight up coward. And no, he, he don't have the intestinal fortitude to debate her. But baby, that would be a pay-per-view event, wouldn't it though? <laughs> Rebecca, he's, handle that. Handle him, baby. Handle he's never him. gonna do it. And it's the other part about this. Look, it's a what, 12-year-old kid, she said, her son at the table. Yes. And she mentioned that he's autistic. And that's a factor in this, maybe maybe based off of the fact that he was hanging out, sleeping at this table while this event was going on. They had absolutely no interest in. But even if he wasn't, even if he it, it didn't have autism, you, right. were you taking pictures of people's kids for? And then trying to have this comparison because there's a kid sleeping at a table versus your campaign event that you decide to take this one particular moment from. But also, this is what we keep missing. And not necessarily us, but just maybe the general voting public, maybe the folks who vote for people like Matt Gates. What part about that message that he posted tells you he's going to be a better representative for your rights and your needs and the things you put him in office for versus Rebecca Jones. What about that picture tells you he's got the right principles, who's got the right agenda, and is going to implement the right kind of policies? What does it have to do with it? 
We don't ask ourselves that question anymore because we've just gone to, hey, he scored that touchdown. Oh, field goal. Oh, we finally won one. What are they going to do? What are we doing this for? What are we voting for? It doesn't always That's happen. exactly right. Yeah. But he asking for a, a, a can, open up a can of whoop ass. That's what he, <laughs> that's what he asking for. Uh, he going to yeah. get it. <laughs> He's definitely going to get it. I hope he does accept that debate, which I don't think he will. We're seeing how that's not really working out for many folks.